Hey, it's Chase from On The Table Gaming, and I'm excited to talk to you today about the House Targaryen starter set for A Song of Ice and Fire, The Miniatures Game. With 20 exquisite miniatures, the Targaryen starter set comes with all the unit cards, tactics cards, tokens, dice, and scenery you need to get your own Kalasar started. With a force comprised of two units of beautifully sculpted Dothraki Screamers, a unit of fearsome Dothraki Veterans, and nimble horse archers in the form of Dothraki Outriders, this starter set is an entirely mounted combat force. Coupled with Jorah Mormont, available in commander, solo, and attachment forms, alongside non-combatant units like Ilrio Mopatis, and of course, the young Daenerys Targaryen, your force will be a terror on the battlefield, especially under the leadership of Caldrogo, the final commander option provided. Caldrogo's abilities synergize well with the Targaryen tactics cards, setting up combinations that can result in truly devastating attacks. You'd have to be a fool to face the Dothraki on an open field. And at the end of the day, the Targaryen starter set for A Song of Ice and Fire the Miniatures game provides players with the chance to feel the thrill of leading a Kalasar to victory over their opponents. The Targaryens are battle-ready right out of the box, and their basic attachments combo in a manner that leaves you room to grow your skills as you become more comfortable with your basic units. Now, the Outrider Co's ability to put out a vulnerable token is incredibly powerful, and I've been having fun just running multiples of them. Now, however, the dream scenario seems to be to set up a particular potent attack by getting out a vulnerable token with the Outrider Co for a unit that has a Screamer Co to charge, ideally in the flank, so you get the Sundering bonus and the flank bonus, and then you can expend a vulnerable token for massive damage. Now, when it comes to value, Come On Games continues to deliver as you're able to field a full 40-point army with just the contents of the starter box. Now, for me, the Dothraki veterans have been surprisingly fun to play with. That by far has been my favorite unit. Now, although they're incredibly expensive to field, coming in at 10 points, their ability to fire with their Dothraki short bow at seven dice, then to trigger a charging volley, making a charge attack that attacks with eight dice, that's been particularly brutal. Now you add in some tactics cards like Fire and Blood, giving them Precision and Vicious, man, that's a lot of hurt. Now while the Dothraki hordes dish out damage better than they receive it, cards like Swift Retreat help to keep your forces from being bogged down and future releases such as the Unsullied will no doubt provide a more anvil type unit. Not to mention whatever dragons end up looking like. So I'm looking forward to exploring the tactics and unit synergy of this faction, and if you're a fan of House Targaryen, the Khaleesi, or just driving your enemies before you, I highly suggest you pick up the Targaryen starter set for A Song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game. Now let us know in the comments below what you're running as your starter lists, and in the meantime, I hope you get your miniatures on the table.